Good afternoon. It's a very, very good Saturday. I, <laughs> we got mail and I got new uniforms for the Kung Fu Club. Now let's, let's open up this box first. We'll get to this one in a second. Okay, so before we go forward, please subscribe. Because my goal on this channel is actually become successful enough that I can get off of my payment part of my disability. I probably will never be able to get off my medical. I just, there's a reason I'm disabled and I need to respect it. But regular disability does not pay enough. And I, I need, I, I, I'm not going to go sit on that couch over there and just be and active, it's, it's torture, it's a jail. So my goal is if I'm going to be stuck at home during the times that I'm in pain or my mental health just crashes, I can still be doing art and still being sometimes productive. You know, maybe I'll just do the drawings where you just don't hear my voice or me doing this right here, you know? And you guys will still get some content and I can keep my brain active. And then other times, man, I'm gonna be like out there getting my cameras going, checking out stuff because I'm a little more able to. I mean, I just want, I just enjoy what I do. So anyways, you might notice we have Molly here. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe, this is so weird to say. I am a multi-awarded illustrator and I'm also an author so the very first book that ever I ever won any kind of award for would be these guys right here so from what I understand about this is you get to sit in your books there is a fee uh, and you send it in you get to try out different multiple um, like genres that you can go there so me I did medical um, since it's Louis book is about my mental health and having a service dog and so I put it under that. But Molly was also under this as well. And she won this award first. So, and I have all the stickers here. It's so cool to like, ah! At the same time, it's still like, it's cool. Like I try to get into it because it's hard for me to realize like I am this multi award author and illustrator now. I am international and it's just like, wait a minute. Stop. Do you understand what you're saying? It doesn't click. <laughs> like right now, for the moment, I'm all excited because I want to share this moment with you and this weird, odd thing that my brain just doesn't seem to get is, girly, you're doing it, you know? So, <laughs> It's just, it's weird. It's really, really weird. So, the guy who wrote Molly, the dog with diabetes, this is actually a true story about a dog with diabetes. And um, I got to meet the owner. I didn't get to meet Molly because the owner wasn't quite sure how Molly and Lou would get along. But uh, the lady is very, very sweet. She bought, I think it was the original draw painting, because these are all watercolors. I think she wanted this page right here, the actual painting. Cause due to cropping, I mean, this was much bigger than this. So she, I think that's the one she got. Don't quote me. I can't quite remember and I'm not gonna go dig through everything <laughs> to find out. But I do want to say for those who have diabetes, this is your guys' symbol for diabetes. And so I took that symbol and I mean the paw print symbol for the animals. So I think that's a cool thing, you know, to do the paw print for diabetes. Yeah, you want to borrow that idea, you know, just give me a little bit of a shout out if it hasn't already been done. I would appreciate that. So Kevin, he's like, I love your book. And I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I need to do another book. And I'm like, okay. So we can, so they actually do, they do have Hawk and Finn, these are our actual cats. No, they, they're they are marshmallows. So I've been watching so many YouTube videos and I've heard so many people say, well, actually, it's this, because I watch a bunch of, you know, step van conversions. And then, actually, this converts, no. Okay, they're cats. I'm gonna stop, I'm, I'm going to purposely force myself never to use the word actually. 
ever again. <laughs> that was driving me crazy. Anyways, he's like, I need you to do this book. I'm like, okay. So these two are real cats in this bookstore, which you got to see the address previously, my publisher. And so with this book, I had all kinds of people help because I really want to do like cat puns. Um, my Kung Fu family helped me with the cat puns. People, I had strangers helping me with cat puns. I had my internet friends, family. There, there's a ton of cat puns in this book. And that was like a really cool Easter egg that the audience got to participate in. And that was really cool. I love this book just because of that and all the creativity that went into it. And so like, here's Kevin and there's Casey. Actually, he, I'm really proud of him. He spent the last year um, losing a bunch of weight. He, he lost over a hundred pounds. You go, Kevin. Well done, seriously. Show that man some love. Cause that, that's hard work. So I really enjoy the photos and things in here. And this was just, this is awesome. Also, a little bit of a shout out to Kevin. If you have um, very young readers who are struggling to read, I highly recommend these books. They're hilarious. I love them. Kids really love them. Um, definitely. Oh, and he won another one too. So um, definitely, definitely check these out. And then Hobo it Finds a Home. This was a previous cat that they had at the bookstore who had since passed on. So there's a lot of really cool, a lot of cool stuff in this book. And then I'm one I'm really proud of. I got more books. I've been going to the mall to go train Louie and I go and I sell them there. And ah, oh, I freaking, it's just so much fun. We actually sold four books. I walked in until Al Shag in um, at the Lindell Mall, and there's this young lady, and she saw Lucas. She fell in love with him, and I told her, and that's an, uh, an illustrator and author. And luckily, I had my book bag with the books in it, and she bought two of them right away. And there's the one I don't have out right now it is called The Littlest Cock by Jessica Epley. It's a really fun um, poem that she had written. And we finally, she's like, please illustrate this poem for me. Like, girl, I got you. And that by far is one of my favorite uh, illustrations. Like, hands down. Like, that was just so much fun. Sifu helped me. Um, so in one of the, the the chicken fight scenes where he's trying to win, the, you know, because these, so the story is these three roosters are not happy with this little tiny rooster because this little tiny rooster's got a big attitude and he like he likes to flirt with the ladies. He you know he's just he's a little cocky, and they're like we're gonna teach this little rooster a lesson, and so they come up with this plot, and in the fight scene. Sifu helped me um, draw the rooster into a Wing Chun pose, which is so cool. And in the actual book, you get just a hint of the jong in the corner. <laughs> I have way too much fun when I illustrate. But I do think my best illustration would happen to be Lucas's book. It just... Definitely some of my best work. I think I just, it took me a week to do this. I'm not, I'm like the story and all the drawings took me a week. I had it done, ready to go and to the publisher. I'm like, all right, let's get this done. Kind of like that dude who played the, um, oh, not the mandolin. Yeah, I think it was the mandolin. No, the ukulele and played over the rainbow. He's like, he calls up the student. He's like, hey, I have an idea. I need the studio for one hour. I just need to do the song. I gotta get it out. And they're like, okay. So they open it up and he plays um, somewhere over the rainbow on his ukulele. And it has become, according to these facts, that uh, has been the number one version 
I think that's really cool. And I really love this book. It's Bella. That's our other Border Collie. She is a scent detection dog. Um, her job is to help her owner find um, animals so they can do a count on how much uh, wind energy the, the blades affect the environment. I'm just gonna leave it to that. I think that's a safe way to explain that job. But she is incredibly good at what she does. She's a very sweet girl, but please ask before petting her. This is a good example why you should always ask an owner before you approach an animal. She is not kid friendly. She's also not pet friendly. She has a lot of insecurities and I'm getting her to work through them with me training her the past couple years and she's gotten better about storms. She's getting, today I'm so proud of her. She sat right in front of the door, watched the mailman put everything down, didn't say a word until he knocked on the door and then she alerted. Like, that was beautiful. Well done. I just, otherwise she's like, Rah. This is my cat Tilly. We have another one named Millie. Hey, Louie. So yeah, I really, oh, that face. This one's actually framed. I have it framed in my house because I'm so in love with that. So when he gives me this look, they would just like, even as a drawing, I'm like, oh, my baby. I know, I'm such a sucker. But anyways, I will put down the links to all the books, including Jess's book. It's a really cute read. Highly recommend getting it. You are, it's, it's definitely adult pun intended, but in the way in its wording, it can be read to a kid. Boop. Okay. Go to them. You can order any book. They'll get it for you. Um, yeah, and they're really decently priced, so I think you'll be very happy ordering. You can order any of the books that I've been blabbing about here, and you guys can really, really, really focus. There you go. You guys can then um, really help not only me, but also Kevin. But do leave a review on Amazon. Even if you didn't buy it through Amazon, please leave a review on there. Because if I can get 50 reviews, then I will get this book right here. Uh, it will go, it ups the advertising, which will really be helpful. So if you've ordered this book, please, 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 please leave a review. And if you hate it, fine. Put one down, put a, one star down, and tell me why you didn't like it. I'll, I'll be happy to listen to you if you do not like this book, okay? I would be surprised if you don't like this book because it's freaking adorable, but extremely helpful and informative. But if you don't like it, I still want to hear why, okay? All right, we're good. Now, dude, <laughs> Sketchbox is way on time, like, like, it's not even at the end of the month, and dude, it, it came today in Sketchbox. You are totally making up for the fact that the Postal Service lost these boxes, and you much appreciated. Love me, okay? I, when I, when I, I have never not reached a goal that I have decided I'm going to reach. <laughs> I, the next biggest goal would be space. Somehow, someway, my little butt is going to get into space. Not sure how, but it's going to happen. So when I say I'm going to make this channel successful, somehow, someway, I'm going to make it sound. So, love me. Like, you have loved us all and, like, shipped this early. You are awesome. Ah, that's my love speech to Sketchbox. Now, here is this beautiful artwork. That is really cool. I might save that and give that to my roommate. He he is a bird fanatic. <laughs> like he very much is. All right, I'll be honest. I opened this previously because I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so here is what we're gonna get today. Just in case I don't pronounce anything right. Here you go. And this is this artwork today. And then by the artist. There we go. We don't wanna. There we go. 
All right, so I did open up the paper because <laughs> I was curious because it's like open here. So I did. Um, this is Tuscan, 100% cotton, 140 pound paper. And this was like lightly glued to the side. So it feels like, um, it feels like watercolor paper, but it doesn't. I've never had cotton paper before. So this is new. I'm excited to do this today. Now, I've been wanting, I've been doing some small like testing of wash paint. I think in a previous video I was yakking about how um, I would say gulch or couch instead of wash. <laughs> I was making fun of myself. Well, clearly, Sketchbox has been paying attention to me and is like, girl, we hear you want to try this out. And so I got four tubes of gouache paint and then also a Litex titanium white gouache. This one is the acrylic gouache, which I've been actually practicing on with this, with these. But in a previous box, they had given me a, a titanium, this wash. I don't know if this is the watercolor kind. Permanent white. So the, I understand about gouache, there is watercolor and then there's acrylic. I think this is the um, watercolor because this is the acrylic, all right? So there is a difference. One dries really, if you keep it wet, you can make it keep working longer, but it, it dries a lot like acrylic, but it's smooth like a gouache watercolor. So while playing with these, um, you know, I did a couple of cards for people and I was playing around just to, just to test and do some simple things. Um, these are acrylic gouaches. I found them smooth and creamy, but I obviously have never painted with gouache. It kind of reminds me of a really pigmented uh, tempera paint, but only creamier. Like tempera paint really feels kind of grainy. Then again, I was using kits, so I really don't know high quality tempera yet, but we'll get there because I'm determined to make this channel awesome. So these were really cool. I really like that. So. We're, I got some ideas. They also provided a beautiful brush. And this brush looks like a good pointy thick brush, which I like. Where is it open? Oh, here we go. Come out. Come explore the world around you. There you go. Ooh, ooh, check out that baby. <gasps> oh, it's so pointy. Oh, we're using this. I'm just not sure what yet. You're so pretty. You're like, you're like a calligraphy pen, but with bristles. Ah! Okay, anyways. And then they also give us a Copic multi-liner, which is a blue and a very, very fine point, which I have been doing a really cool drawing of Lucas um, in black and white. And it looks really, I'm pretty proud of it. Chin area kind of bugs me, but it's too good for not having done an ink drawing in a while to be mad. So I'm quite happy. So here we go. My sticker for the month is Sketchbot Gouache GG0522. That's cool. I love stickers. Anyways, let's start the artwork. So I'm going to, we're going to just test this stuff out. I do have some water. For the paint, I'm not going to use this brush yet. I'm going to use this brush. We'll use this. So we can put a little bit of water down. All right, we're just going to see. This is permanent white. Is that the one that was from the box? I believe it was. I can go in there. We have a very pretty Bonton Peony, violet pink, 
Mm, that color. So let's see what it looks like, shall we? We're going to do it just a little bit. Ooh, that is vibrant. I'm not sure if I'm doing my gradient right. Very wet though. It's okay. That goes on like a watercolor. I like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty pigmented. like that that's kind of cool all right see if I can oh we can't get pillow off right here where is yeah there it is hello this thing I've cut myself like three times on ridiculous is that color okay let us clean the brush I feel like spring's finally here. Like the magnolia and trees are blooming. The grass is finally green. Oh my god, I feel like I can smell oxygen again. I'm like, I'm waking up at 5 o'clock because I just want to go do stuff. It's spring is here. Alright, so there is that really pretty pink color. We'll do hummingbird blue. I bet this is gonna be gorgeous. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I can't hide it. Woohoo! Like, okay. This is exactly about the mouth that I put on the uh, card last time, and it did all that. That's pretty cool. Let's do this again. It's so pretty. Okay. This really does not take much to do. Oh gosh. I barely put any down. Okay, this stuff will, is going to last you a really long time. Holy moly. If you want to do a very, very dramatic watercolor, you got it. Ah, no. Put it. I love how it's just...
That almost looks like Neptune. Neptune's blue, right? Oh. <laughs> it looks like a tie-dye. It's so pretty. Yeah, you barely need any of that. Like, like, wow. It's so pigmented. It's amazing. All right. Like I keep telling people, man, Sketchbox. God, I love their stuff. I really do. All right, where is it? It's right here. There's Mr. Blue, with Hummingbird Blue. You see that? I am trying hardly to use any at all because it just goes forever. There we go. Ooh, it's very pretty. All right, let's try this one. Just enough on here. That is such a light blue. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. It did some really cool weird stuff. We'll see how that goes. Strange. Very strange colors. Where is the so once these dry we'll just do a very thinned out um so it's not watery it'll just be more uh, where's the it on this thing oh there you are there's that guy now for the yellow. I'm not worried about the white because I'll, pfft, you'll see that later. Um, wow, that is crazy. All right, let's see. Maybe not very much. There we go. Should be plenty. Here is the watercolor feel for it. Where's the edge? So what I'm looking for for the edge is like, it should pop up and so you can... Where are you at, my dear? This is this line right here. Oh, there it is. And there's the yellow. Where did I just put the yellow? <laughs> there it is. All right, there we go. That is. Now that we're gonna let these dry, we're gonna just do some quick drawings with this. So you guys can see.
Yeah, little ghosty high five to you. Hi. <laughs> I know, I'm ridiculous. This is a really nice Parker. I like it. I'm gonna definitely be using it. Um so it's a little wet. So I'm gonna wait till these fully dry. We'll come back once they're dried and then we will do a much more opaque um, streak down it. And then we'll create a little something on it with the marker. See you back in a few. All right guys, I'm gonna spoil you. You're going to get Baby the photos. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh look at him. Oh. Obviously, this has not changed ever. <laughs> I still like oh. oh, I love my dog. So much. Look at that. Oh, you get that. So, 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 so. Okay, I gotta stop looking at my dog. Alright, so I have an idea I wanna do with this particular. Or I want to make like how do I think? This is why you practice so you can make sure before you do things. Always have a scrap paper of the same material tab because uh, that way you can see how all your stuff is going to interact with your ink. So like here, this was kind of dry. And then put it, put an extra layer over it, right? So this is really cool, interesting um, material. I really like it. So since i am got this one particular out, We are going to move to this one. So this is this color, and I'm going to have a little bit of fun with um, just doing the color. Do I want it this way? Yeah, let's do it this way. I really want to try to do the um, bamboo feel to it. I don't know if I'll make it. I don't know if I'll do a good job, but I am willing to try, so, and that's what counts. At least willing to try. I'm going to do this way Goes down and left. Down and left. I'm in love with this paintbrush. Oh my gosh. Seriously, this paintbrush is just. It's making this so amazing.
here is this. I really like it. Um, very few little hints of it going through the paper. This is, I've never worked with cotton before. Definitely is going to be, um, I would like to keep experimenting with it in the future. This was really cool. Some blue bamboo. So next up, we have this pretty red one. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do, but we're going to find out. <laughs> We're going to go back and keep using this amazing pen. I love this thing. Next week, I'm very excited. I get to go and see some family. And it'll be a really good week next week. There we go. I'm on the wrong edge. So there is some bit of a learning curve with this uh, particular pen. Or I want to call it a pen because it like it reminds me of a fountain pen. I really like it. So first it was just the, a little bit of water so I can get the brush to work. And then um, now I'm adding water as I go. Can we pull it up? Maybe. A little bit. Don't recommend it. All right, now let's go have fun with the rest of the paint because there's a lot there. Yeah. I really want to practice more. I'm 
supposed to hold this sucker this way. Looks like a sand dollar. It's a really good um like thing you just set that down. Huh? Alright, so here's this one. And it's with this lovely color, the Bouton Pony Pini. I really like that. It's really pretty. And now for the yellow one, which is light ochre. I have no idea. <clears throat> we are going to do let's do a paw print I don't know why but that's what I'm going to do and I'm not going to use this brush this time I want to use this brush a little bit Maybe I won't do a pop print.
subtle but simple but cute. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I didn't screw up. Now for this one, I'm very, um, I don't know what to do with this. This, this water, oh, yeah, it's good. Just right Ooh, look at that. Even you can still pull it even when it's wet. Sweet. So I'm gonna use this literally more bright blue color. Help with this. Uh, Like, so one thing I learned about it, you normally you can't re-pull up acrylic gouache, but with these, you can. That's interesting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I learned quite a bit on this one. I really like this. Seriously, really like this. This was fun. Let's see, how do I put this back in? Um, these are so cute. Even like the towels from the pigments just look, I guess, unicorn colors or something. <laughs> I just think they're pretty. Blues, pinks. Yeah, I just, this was a fun box. Way to go, Sketchbox. Like, I actually was inspired, and there's something. Oh, I've got blue on there. It's all right, though. Move it off. There we go. It's still pretty. Still freaking pretty. I love it. I'm very happy with this. Sketchbox, seriously. Thank you for being awesome. 
I found a new brush pen that's I might stab people over. This thing is amazing. What what is this brush pen anyways? Sketchbox Signature Tri Wedge Brush Size 8. Retails for about $15. This thing is worth it. This thing is worth more than $15. That's just my my um I say. But these right here. The these paints. Hopian Artist Gouache. Um these finely ground pigments offer superior color and opacity, dilute and create transparent washes, or use them straight out of the tube for opaque details. They are registered $6 each. You've seen how far the needle, needle, boop, and then I still had to wipe most of it off of this. So, I think they're definitely worth the $6. I definitely say this is worth this much. Oh my god, I'm in love with that thing. So, um, in this paper, I know cotton paper, this is just for this. Hello, Blue, you're still up. This is 13. 140-pound cotton, 15 sheets. This was fun. I want more of these. These, I want them to turn these into postcards. And then, uh, which I probably will be doing with this one, and this one, and maybe, I'll do both. I don't know, we'll see. Like, I'm very curious. I don't know. I'm excited, I'm excited having fun and I'm enjoying my art again and it's been I'm, I'm enjoying it like I got like I registered for for boom fest here in Benton and coming in August I'm excited I'm gonna do a booth for the books and for the club um, So oh, these are going to be used for postcards. Well, as soon as they dry, I'm going to spray them with a clear coat so they don't, because it, it's, it's the rainy season here. And they do seem to want to re-wet themselves. So, either way, so these are going to go out in this pen. This was a fun pen. I really like that. Um, I'm very pleased. This was cool. Sketchbox. Stay awesome, man. And all you out there, subscribe for more. Keep me interested. Give me ideas. I want to hear it all. I am. I want to hear what you got. Support me. Show me some love. All that good stuff. And until next time, whatever video comes next, it's genre study. We, I will see you next time. Have fun. Create art. Spread the love to the smaller YouTubers as much as we spread the love for the big ones. So, till then, peace.